Hello, today I'm going to show you what you need to do to build a chat flow for your website. Chat flow can be used in a lot of different ways. You can have this be set up as a live agent chat, or you can use uh, the customer agent AI that is available, depending on your subscription level, to build out an AI bot that can chat with your customers. Another option that I will be walking through with you today is just to set up a rules-based chat bot. So predetermined paths of what uh, can help guide your customers to the resource that they need. So let's start with where to find it. You're going to find chat flows over here on the left side under automations. In order to create a new one, you're just going to come up here and create chat flow and then you can decide where you would like to add this chat flow. You can have it added to Facebook Messenger or you can have it embedded on a website page. I'm going to do website. This is a space where if you have a specific service hub level subscription, so I believe it's professional or higher, you have access to the help desk, which is just a more robust inbox. It allows tickets to be created automatically. Um, you will, however, have access to inbox, even if you are just on a lower level, so you can set up your chat flow to go to the inbox. Once you're here, you'll see those different options of chat flows that you can create. I'm going to create a rules-based chat bot. There are a lot of different templates that you can select that can help you uh, start something and um, give you a jumping off point. Or if you'd like, you can start from scratch, depending on what your needs. Let's click this qualify leads bot and use this template to help us with this process. So what is going to happen is if you pick a template, it is going to give you specific steps already that you will be able to go in and edit. Um, this welcome message is editable, as well as these different drop down options. So you can change the message, you can change the quick replies. And there's a lot of different settings that you'll be able to do here. Should you want this to be saved to a HubSpot property, you can select a property here depending on um, the action, if that's something that would be helpful to you to collect outside of the chat on their contact record. But what's gonna happen is it's going to pop through and follow this flow. So as you can see right here, it's gonna save the response of this question to the number of employees. Here it's going to save the response that they give to their contact's name. And here it'll save it to email. And then here it's going to send it to a team member. And if you are not looking to have a live chat set up, then what you can do is you can come in and you can edit the action and you can change it. Um, you can add another action and set up a different process that you want to happen, such as book a meeting, um, whatever fits your needs best. Once you have a chat flow that flows well, you're going to want to decide who you want to target. So this is where you're going to set where you would like your chat flow to appear. So you can decide if you want on all pages. Um, you can give a lot of different rules, exclusions, whatever's going to make that chat work best for your website. You can also decide if there's a certain visitor that you would like to have the chat shown. So you can have everybody um, or you can have people who are logged in. You can have them on a specific device type. There's a lot of different things that you can do to filter who is able to see that chat flow as well. So once you've got your targeting information set up, you will come over to display. And this is where you can choose the chat avatar. So you can select one, uh, a picture of yourself. You can select a picture um, for, of your company's logo, whatever works best. And when it comes to chat display behavior, that is going to determine how the chat interacts on your website or mobile 
uh, pages. So you can have it pop up with just this welcome message. You could have just the little chat bubble, or you can have the whole box pop up. And you can also decide when the chat should appear. There's a few different options that um, you can decide from on what makes the most sense for a chat to pop up on your page. Similar concept with mobile, but just less options. So it shows you a mobile preview and you can have it do the welcome message or just the chat launcher. Um, and those can be different uh, depending on desktop. So I have this one set to be all the way open, but mobile, I've only got the chat launcher. So it's totally up to you how you want that to look. The last thing is you are going to check your options. A lot of these are fine to leave as, as it is, but again, it might just depend on how you want this to work on your specific website. Um, you can change the delay between messages. So if you want it to have a more natural delay for a longer message, it will take a little bit longer to type the message and send it, or you could just have the same slight delay between each message. Session timeout. This is again, you know, how often do you expect people to need to refresh and have their session timeout? Um, or if they've had a chat and maybe they haven't come back to it, how long do you want it to um, take to reset if they didn't finish the flow? This one is again, just a generic message. You can add message bubbles here if you want more than one message to show up, but this is just if something goes wrong um, or there's a technical error, it will send this message and tell them to try again. Language, pick the language that works best for you. Availability is one that you will want to make sure, um, especially if you're doing a live agent chat flow that you have this availability set up correctly. There's a few more options when it comes to availability for live chat, um, but if you were to click this, this will open up your inbox settings, which gives you more availability and um, options of how it will view on your um, website. So you could set your chat operating hours or you could base it on user availability. So you would have to add users um, to be available for your chat. Um, and then it would base it on their specific working hours. You can also set availability behavior. So when you're available, you can have a little message up here or you can have nothing. You can have a custom one, however you want it to be. When you are away, so if nobody is available, there is a specific message that can pop up. And if you're outside of working hours, you can have a return time show at the top, or you can just completely hide the chat launcher, or you can show an away message outside of your working hours, whatever works best for you. That is found when you click this uh, button right here, or when you go to your settings and inboxes and you can set it up there. Uh, like I said, if you'd like to set up different access, you can go here. You can make it to where everyone's available. So if everyone has their working hours marked, they will show as available, or you can select users to be specific to that team. Um, again, this only matters if you're setting up a live chat flow, but it is important to make sure that you address this so that agents are available to answer any live chats. Because this was a qualification chatbot, this is a pretty popular setup with chatbots is to get information before that hits your live agent so that they have information to go off of when they're starting that chat. So that could be a great way to utilize both a chatbot and the live chat option so that your agents who are working with those live chats have a little bit more information to go off of. Other things that you will want to make sure you look into are if you're going to consent to collect chat cookies, um, make sure you address those settings. And if you are planning to store and process your customer's personal information, requiring this consent type agreement. This is a big one that you'll want to make sure you think through. Do you want the contacts that come in through your chat flow to be set as a marketing contact? 
with this being a qualification lead chatbot, I would say, yes, I do want them to be a marketing contact because it's a lead that's come in and they've, it's an inbound person who's reaching out to me. So I would love to be able to send them marketing information, especially based on the flow of this chat. So once you've got all those settings ready to go, you can click preview and it will walk you through what it is going to look like on your website. So I can click learn about products and then HubBot is going to ask me the next question. And if I click this, it's going to save it to a property on my contact record and it will follow the rest of the chat flow. So do this and this is a great way to preview what this build section looks like because obviously this is not what it's going to look like on your website it's going to look like this so these have a lot of versatile uses they are very easy to set up you've just got to make sure that you've got all of the different settings addressed to work properly um, since you're able to target it based on different pages, you can also have different chat flows running on different pages and you can determine which ones are doing better, which ones are bringing more information, which ones maybe you could tweak a little bit to help um, bring in more relevant information because they might not be working as well as others. So I hope that this helps you get started on your future chat flow building processes. Good luck.